I'll take care of it then. Nice, that's good. Tucker. Magic Link. Against Valerie, I guess. Link, and he might be playing Polluta. Hey. I think so. We'll save it. And then we'll go F. Let's go. Five. Nice. We're good. We got yeah. it. Right. Oh, so. Actually, is there a... Yeah, there we go. Sweet. We can see how they go on Battlefield. Who knows? I don't even know the record between these guys. I don't know either. I have no idea. I think Taco said that he hasn't played a Palutena in all season. So all season? Like, not Jacko or yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Taco, yeah. I don't know. PS2. PS2, yeah. Pretty standard stage for a start. See what they choose, Link, and then I'm guessing Palutena, but it might be Peach, it might be... Oh, you think so? Some other weird character. Yeah, he, he can play a lot of characters. I but bet it is Palutena. Come yeah. On. What would you think Peach? Like, against Link? Pardon? What would you think Peach? Is it good Peach. against Link or something? Uh, no, he, normally, he plays Peach sometimes. So yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, so round game one. If uh, yeah, if Paulek doesn't space right on his shield, then he'll get upbeat. Um, and then, but yeah, Taco's got to look out for just the invincible moves like back air and dash attack, and also that nair on platforms. Yeah, he can chill. Which can chill hook really easily. And even though. Um, Palutena has a reflector of some sorts. It's not really too useful. No, it's not you, the best you one. You don't use it very often. Yeah, you don't really use it. You, you might, you maybe will see the counter come out when you um, when he's uh, getting against his upbe. Yeah, true. On the recovery. Would be on the recovery, yeah. Yeah, you can't. You can't be. Because Palutena's smash attacks are already strong. Yeah, they have a lot of range. Yeah, they have there. a lot of range as well, so they can really punish those um, leggy uppies. Yeah. And the grab range is really good from Palutena. It but is. if. Because okay. he's got to mix up between grabbing and um, shielding Taco to get in, like. Against dash attack, it's better to up B out of shield and then, like. If he's waiting for the up B out of shield, you just run up and grab him. Or you do a safe nair on shield. But nothing... I don't see... Pulex alright right now. He yeah. will only die to a up B. Yeah. Yeah, he tried Tomahawk. But yeah, but you've got to... Yeah. yeah, bomb pulls are the death of you. Like, when you pull a bomb, um, you've just got to make sure it's safe, right? Yeah. So then, because uh, the Palutena is one of the best, like, one of the strongest up airs in the game. Definitely. So being able to pull, pull out your bomb in spots where she can't reach you is vital because she'll just kill you at, like, 60 at the top of the stage. Oh, was it? Two down, yeah? All right. All right, you got to put your mic a little bit closer. Closer? Okay. Yeah, so we can, I can hear you. Yep. So up here... This game's going pretty quickly. It is. Oh yeah, expected the back air. Just a standard ledge trapping. Yeah, good, good, good edge rod. He got his jump. Cool. And that's game one to Paulek. <laughs> yeah, Taco didn't really manage to find openings and stuff against Bowser, no. No, yeah, and Link, Link is um. Link is the least combo heavy Link of them all. Mm, yeah. So if he gets in, he really does, you know, he puts him in a bad position, but he won't combo into death unless it's Boomerang or yeah. Bomb. Yeah, not even the Bomb, because the Bomb, like, you need detonation. Oh, you yeah. Detonate it. It's definitely in zone, so yeah. So he's going to go Inkling. I think maybe he can weave in and out of um, 
yeah. uh, Palutena a lot because the smaller characters, small and fast characters, yeah. like it's a, you need to be stricter when you space your back airs to Palutena. Uh, we'll see how we go. We're going to Carlos. Okay. Interesting choice. Which means that uh, Pulik can't really use the platforms to run off and back air to safety. True. But it also means that Inkling can't really use it to kind of escape that pressure that Palutena has. Yeah. And it gives a lot of space for Palutena as you're like back air and like be safe. Mm. Same for Inkling though. Down but hill. Yeah, just a. Uh, Inkling's gonna st uh, strive in, um, oh, oh, thrive in pretty much ledge trapping Palutena, doing the back airs, doing the down bees. Oh, maybe should have gone for a jab to the jab lock, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah see, I, I don't agree with that down air because it's, you know, really hard to hit Inkling's uh, sweet spot down air anyway. But when there's the teleport recovery, it's um, even harder. It's even harder. Yeah, a bit sloppy with the spacing of the back airs, but that's all right. He can get back. And didn't go to didn't ledge. ledge yeah. I know that uh, hitbox normally saves a lot of inklings um, when they land, but not so bad. Gets the, gets the distant, um, the kind of, not close up with the rapid jab. So, a lot of descent. A lot of, each, each backer would do a lot more now. This so jab will be yeah. more meaningful. Yeah, nah, nah, forward air, cool. Yeah. Uh, a bit greedy from Paulek to go for that next forward air. And you're dead. Good bomb. Yeah, get that. Maybe should have even should have held on to that rabbit jab maybe a little bit longer to get more ink. Yeah, could have. Um, yeah. But he might have fell out. I'm not too sure. Great chasing, great. Didn't get the forward air, but uh, ran in with a dash attack. Down throw. Yeah. Got to tech no roll tech. away. The only thing that would uh, work is tech roll away. Okay, yep, there like you this. go. But then if you keep doing that tech rolling away, then she might run up and do a back air. Yeah, he's going to read that someday. Yeah, just chasing. Yeah, and very, very, uh, kind of telegraph jump. Like, I think everyone kind of knew that he was just going to, he, he's been jumping a lot. Pulek knew that, you know, he did this last game with Link with a bomb, but I think he does it as a safety kind of thing. Yeah. Nice, gets that aerial hit. Oh. Ooh, okay. gets the foots. I don't know. Uh, I think that might have been intentional. Maybe. Because he, he has been, uh, he, has, he does do like a lot of the phantom footstool stuff, like in the Gimmer video where you're invincible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that could have been intentional. Could have, yeah. But that was good anyway. That got the kill. That was a good, I mean, it, it gets the kill, gets the job done. Yeah. Forward air. <laughs> Continues with a rapid jab anyway. Pulex missed, uh, shielded the first two hits um, of the last two jabs, yeah. but always uh, holds, um, always, always let goes of, let, lets go of shield a bit too early. Spacing his back airs, he's a bit, when you see people spacing back airs, you know they they just kind of want to do something real safe, they're not too sure what to do. They're not too sure, they don't have quite the read on the opponent that they want, so they just space the back airs, Palutena's back air is probably one of the best for that because it is invincible is with the invincible, shield. Is invincible, has a great range. And Inklings also like, um, Inklings is the safest on shield, so. Yeah. Let's we'll see how we, both really and you're dead, oh, oh, almost. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, so, up air will kill a bit earlier now just because of the yeah. multi-hit doing more damage. Oh, and you're, you're dead to that. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's it. Good games. Two. Too bad for you. Who do we have next? And we'll see who we have next. So we'll clear all the data.
Whistle, maybe? He's standing there. <laughs> yeah, already. I don't know. I don't think Nick was ready for the Palutena, but that's all right. We'll see who's next, who hops up to the setup. We'll see. Um, 